DJI Action, the combo kit. Don't know where to start. The easiest first, the stick, the selfie stick. Does it fit in my screen here? Almost. Okay, so what is most important for us to know is there is uh, that bottom in here where you can extend it or, you know, mount it on the tripod or whatnot. That. And um, you could attach a lanyard that doesn't come with it. Here on that thing. And then here it uh, really extends quite a bit. I see the first element, the first segment here. That's how it looks like. Yeah, let's hope it lasts forever. And then those segments here. And there's so many. I don't know when I get them all situated here. Did you see how many segments this thing has? So many. Wow. See that doesn't even fit in here, right? You see how many segments? So you can pull that out like crazy. One and a half meters. Very nice plastic here. And then we come to the mounting screws. It comes with two of those mounting screws, right? There. They are different from the GoPros. They have more twist, right? So you don't need as much energy to really tighten those up a lot. But I warn you, do not tighten them while there is nothing in between. They're going to break. I don't know if they will break. I don't want to try it out. But if you put too much pressure on here, those break off if there is nothing in between here. That's important. Um... Next thing, the magnetic mounts. Um, the magnetic mounts, it comes with two of those magnetic mounts. They have DJI on one side written, nothing on the other. You can mount them on the selfie stick, or it comes on this... straight surface sticker thing that's like glue here yeah? i don't think you can use it multiple times you glue this to something and then it's on there so if you take it off if you can i'm not so sure if you can reuse it maybe on the glass surface maybe i'm not sure but uh, <clears throat> so that allows you not much uh, you can tilt this a little bit here but there is no left or right tilt. So, hmm, I don't know what to use this for. But as the camera stand, when you stand it like this, and you have the camera on there. Wait, that didn't work this way. So we have the camera on there, and that's nice. Why not? Okay, so those magnetic mounts come off easy. You see the camera here has on the bottom a mount, the text DJI always goes to the front, and then it flips on on its own, as you can see. But it's not on, it didn't, it didn't uh, really go in all the way, let me show you. Now it's on all the way, now the camera is good. If you have one a little loose here, yeah? so if there's any touch here and it comes loose, then it is able to come off on one side. But that's how you release it, right? So it goes in here. Those two clips hold it, and then you can't remove it. If you want to remove it, you have to push them in here, those two, and then you can remove it. Now, since the camera has only on the bottom this mount, it would be hard for you to mount the camera upright if you want to do portrait. That's why they give you this cage with it, I guess. So the cage 
is protecting the edges for once, but it also has the magnetic mount here on the bottom. So like this. And then you can hold the camera basically this way. Okay, so there. So don't be fooled when you snap it on only. You have to push it down. You see that? You have to push it down until it really clicks in here. So that's why you have to make sure. But other than that, it's a fast and easy way to mount this thing. Not bad. Yeah, so that is, as I said, this cage, right? It just opens like this. And it comes out like this. Okay, oops. So, when you mount it like this, it cannot fall out. Um, let's look how fast I turned it on. Stop filming. And turn it off. Okay, so while this thing is on the cage, you can still access this one here. The uh, Hopefully, waterproof USB-C here. USB-C should be waterproof. I don't know if this is, because there is a seal here to seal that area off. So I'm not sure if this works on the water without letting water into the camera. Um, I think time will find out when people have this underwater opening, if that causes any damage. There is waterproof USBs out. I don't know if it happens in this case. So other than this one flap here, you cannot access anything but the mount. So this one you can access, but uh, other than that. And that brings us basically to the next step, the camera. I mean, you saw this in my unboxing video, right? So we got rid of the button on the top here and replaced it with the speaker. So those holes are speakers or a speaker in there. There's an on-off button. Then here would be the charge or the computer connection. Like you can, when this thing is on, connect it to your computer and then copy the files over. Uh, in this case, I tried it, it's fast. It's fast and nice. Then here on this uh, thing, you would expect it to open this way like the GoPro does, but it doesn't. It opens the opposite way. You do push and release, push up and then you can open it here. Okay, so there is a silicone seal around it to seal this area off. We have a battery here. And this uh, combo kit comes with three batteries. Imagine that. And we do have a USB uh, SD card in here. Not USB, SD card. This is the maximum you can get in here for this camera too. 56. Uh, I do recommend this card. I use this card also for the Hero 10. Can I zoom into this? No. I need to focus a little there. For the Hero 10, I use it too. And I have to tell you, I don't have any problems with this card. Okay, so battery here, yeah, okay. And, um, The lens, okay, so the Osmo Action, the previous model, this model here, those lenses don't fit here. You can see already the size is, is slightly different. They don't fit, so you need a new set of ND filters or whatever to fix this, to use it here, right? That's how the lens is there. Okay, now there's a rubber here around it. You can replace this rubber if you wanted to. The old one did not have the rubber. I don't think the rubber is for protection. I think it dissipates heat through this ring and the ring will get hot. 
That's maybe why they put rubber around it. But it is what it is. It's on there. To make the touch nicer, I guess. Right, but it comes with a spare ring, a spare rubber ring. That's that. Um, the buttons are harder to push than in the old one. The old one had very nice button pushes. This one, not so much. Mm. Camera. So we are uh, at the battery section here. Here. So it comes with this battery charge unit and also with a USB-C to C cable. So if you want to charge this, you can uh, use USB-C and then any fast charger that has this power distribution, whatever control thing there. So those fast chargers or those fast phones can handle this. So you can buy a charger or get yourself a charger or something like this. It doesn't come with a camera, right? So you need like, uh, like an adapter there. There's different versions out and um, like this one, I don't know where this came from. It's also a fast charger that does two amp out this one here. But again, whatever you do there, um, USB-C or you need a different charge cable. So I can charge with my uh, JBL cable here. Um, if I plug this in, you see the LEDs for three batteries. You have three LEDs. It doesn't charge them all at the same time. It does one by one. You can insert three batteries, but it does charge one, then the next, then the next, okay? Um, from what I read in the manual about it. And this is only a, a charge port thing. So there is no electronics in here, or batteries in here that charge anything. So that's not what it is. It's just a holder and a transport case where you can transport your three batteries with you. And if you need to charge your batteries, you plug it in and charge them. Um, if you want to use this as a battery pack to charge something else, you can do that. You can, you can take this, plug in your USB-C and let's say charge your phone with it. For like Android phones, when they have a USB-C connection, the phone. If your phone doesn't have USB-C because you have an iPhone, then you need this iPhone cable USB-C through lightning, and then you could charge your phone with this. But then the question is, why would you need to do this? So if you have like the newest, latest iPhones, those batteries last forever. So I don't know if that is really necessary. But yeah, so here, um, this is what it is. So if I need a fresh battery, so this one was green, you saw. I can insert this here in the camera. And so that is the nice thing about the kit. You don't have to run out and uh, buy batteries for <laughs> for your uh, action camera. Uh, it has in there. So that's why I think this combo kit is nice. Yeah. And so that was the uh, uh, charging situation. The... Uh, battery case so it's a battery case with charging capabilities in both ways like either you can charge the batteries or discharge them through USB-C all right so I hope you liked this video and uh, I know you liked it because otherwise why would you watch it and yeah look for more just subscribe and see what's gonna happen next on my channel here yeah.